Inhale. Reprogram who you are. Just have no expectation. Hold. There's a pretty good chance you might cry out of happiness. Now you might go, that makes no sense to me. Exhale. Today we're going to be talking about the most important thing that you can do every single morning. And I'm going to give you one thing and one thing only that you really need to focus on. We all hear about how you should have an incredible morning routine that lasts 30 minutes or an hour or two hours. And, and that's beautiful. And I think that if you have the time, you should definitely have an incredible morning routine. But if you have time for nothing else, this is the most important thing that you should do every single morning to set yourself up for success. And before I dive into it, I want to tell you this. As soon as you wake up in the morning, your brain is in an extremely beautiful spot. So there's different wavelengths that your brain can be at. There's gamma, there's alpha, there's beta, there's delta, there's theta. Now out of those, the most important one that we're going to be talking about is theta. Now from zero to seven years old is when you're a child to seven years old, the majority of the time your brain is in something called theta state, which is basically like hypnosis. When you get hypnotized, your brain goes into theta state. That's why children can learn so quickly is because their brain is at a very important state of their life. They're just seeing things happen and they're learning and they're seeing things happening and they're learning and they're just, it's going straight in their head. It's going straight in their head. It's going straight in their head with basically no filter. And so that's why they can learn so quickly. Theta state, when you wake up in the morning, you're in theta state. Now, as you continue to go about your day, you start to go up in levels and you come out of theta state. But theta state is the most important time to reprogram who you are, reprogram your beliefs, your brain, your thoughts, your patterns, your habits, your traits that you have. And so that's what we're going to talk about is how to reprogram a little bit the way that you, and, and to set yourself up from the very beginning of your morning to change the way that you feel throughout the entire day. I want you to do this before you have coffee. I want you to do this before you look at your phone. And I want you to take five or 10 minutes to do this. You can, if you could take longer, please do. But take five or 10 minutes to do this. Please, please, please don't look at your phone as soon as you wake up in the morning. That immediately takes you out of theta state and gets you into more of a heightened state. Please don't have your coffee first thing in the morning. Wait a little while until after you get this done. You're in a beautiful theta state and we want to make sure that we take advantage of that. And um, here's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you a very, very simple gratitude meditation. And before I teach it to you, there's two different states that your body can be in, your, your nervous system. So there's something called a sympathetic, your sympathetic nervous system, and there's something called your parasympathetic nervous system. Now, these are going to be very important so that you can understand why this meditation works so well. So your sympathetic nervous system prepares your body for physical activity. That is a more of a heightened, stressful state. It increases your heart rate, and it's basically known as fight or flight. That is your sympathetic nervous system when it clicks on. Your parasympathetic nervous system is the exact opposite of that. It, is, uh, it relaxes your body, and it slows your heart rate. Now, why is this important? Because what we're going to try to do with this meditation, this gratitude meditation, is to set you off on the right foot, by turning on and keeping on your parasympathetic nervous system as long as we possibly can. And once again, it's through a very, very simple gratitude meditation. It's to help you change your thoughts, to help you change your focus, to help you change your feelings, and to help you change your perception of the world. And I learned a very simple meditation when I did my 10-day silent meditation retreat. It's called Vipassana. 10 days, silence, you can't talk, you can't journal, you can't read, you can't look people in the eyes. It's literally either you meditate or you take a nap. That's basically all you can do for 10 days straight. And there's two things that you have to know about meditation because most people really resent meditation because they don't feel like they're doing it right. They don't feel like they're getting something out of it. And there's two things you need to know about meditation before you dive into it. The first thing, just have no expectations. One of the worst things you could do probably the worst thing that you can do is to have some sort of expectation of what you need to get out of your meditation. You know, you need to feel like you left your meditation. It's our Western minds of like, if I'm going to do something, I need to feel like I got something out of it. I need to see results right away in order for me to go back and do it again. <clears throat> it's not really the way it works. So you just really have to release all expectations. If you sit there and you feel exactly the same after, hey, at least you did it. 
have no expectations is number one. The second thing is there is no right or wrong way to meditate. All you have to do is this, okay? You find a comfortable position, whatever it is, it could be sitting, it could be laying down, it could be sitting in a chair, it could be legs crossed, whatever it is, you find the most comfortable position that you can without you know, feeling so comfortable that you're gonna fall asleep. And as soon as you find that position, you do not move at all, not even a muscle. If you get a little itch on the inside of your nose, you can't touch it. You can't do anything. You have to stay as still as possible. Once you find that comfortable position, you are now a statue. And the way that you start your meditation, the simple way to start your meditation is just with six deep breaths. And what I'm going to take you through is a meditation that I made up. You know, they taught us how to observe our breath, which I'll talk about, but it's just super simple. You take six deep breaths in through the nose. You hold for four seconds after you inhale and you exhale. So it's just something like this. Ready? Inhale. Hold. Exhale. and you do that four times. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this message because it helps us get it out organically. So hit that like button and I appreciate you. The goal of it, just so you know, is to have your exhale be longer than your inhale. So you do that six times. And this right here, there was a Japanese study that found out that six deep breaths Six deep conscious breaths can completely change somebody's state from a heightened sympathetic state in your nervous system to turning on your parasympathetic, to calming your body down. Six deep breaths, not three, not five, not four. Six deep breaths, conscious breaths will completely change your state. And then what you do after that is you just sit silently for 30 seconds, a minute, whichever one it is that you want, and you just observe your body. Observe the feeling of your body. All too often, we're focused on everything that's happening outside in the external world, and we forget about what's happening internally. So it's just a, a second to sit there, 30 seconds, a minute, to sit there and just observe what's happening in your body, just to feel it, to feel the movement, to feel the breath, to feel the heartbeat, to feel the, the movement of the digestion that you have. All of these things that we don't really pay attention to, but these amazing things that are happening inside of our body, all of the time without us even having to, having to think about it at all. And you observe the feeling. For me, what I like to do is I like to observe the buzzing inside of my body. You observe the energy that's inside of your body and you just feel what it's like. And the reason why I do this is because just so you know, you are 99.9999% energy, nothing, empty space. You are 0 0.00. Zero, zero, one percent physical matter. Now you might go, that makes no sense to me because when I look in the mirror, I clearly see my body. And yes, you do, but you have to realize what you're actually seeing is, you know, if you go, if you take in, you look at your zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in through a microscope, you're made up of atoms. And atoms are 99.9999% nothing. One of the things that's really crazy is uh, my girlfriend and I went and we got this this scan of our bodies where it scans your whole body, tells you your body fat, tells you everything. And it tells us how much our bones weigh. And I'm almost 200 pounds as a guy. My physical body is almost 200 pounds. My bones themselves only weigh seven pounds. I was like, what the hell? That's crazy. 200 pounds to seven pounds. So that's 3.5% of me right there. But if you were to zoom in, if I were to be put into ashes, you were to zoom in, it would be Nothing, 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 0.01% physical matter. Pretty crazy, isn't it? When you really stop and you think about it, you realize that you are mostly nothing. So what I do is I focus and just observe my body, observe the energy, the prana is what the yogis always call it, the prana that's inside. And then what I do is this, I think about gratitude and I try to fill myself up with the feelings of gratitude. What does it feel like to be grateful in this moment for just life? I don't allow myself to be, I don't, I don't think about being grateful for anything, not for anyone, not for any money, not for any 
struggles, not for any growth, not for any. I don't try to find something to be grateful for. I simply try to be grateful for this existence, for the opportunity to live this life because it's beautiful. It's amazing. And so I try to focus on just the beautiful little aspect of being here and simply existing. So it's not something outside of me that I'm looking for to be grateful. I am simply feeling grateful just for being here. And I try to fill myself up with gratitude. And if you focus on this feeling, just trying to feel the body and then fill it up with gratitude, there's a pretty good chance you might cry out of happiness. I've done it quite a few times where I just cry for no reason. I'm like, this is beautiful. This life is amazing. Everything is amazing. Just being here, simply existing, waking up today is just a gift. And you fill yourself up with this, everything that you possibly can. And then what do you do? Then after you go through that, you start focusing on the things that are outside of you. You start focusing on things that are outside of you, your body, everything that you have, the people around you, the struggles, the gifts, the lessons. Then you can start focusing on the outside because really the world starts from the inside and then goes to the outside. So the problem is we mostly focus on the outside and try to change the inside. Let's try to change the inside first and then go to the outside. So you focus on what you're grateful for after. So you just sit there and you're grateful and grateful and grateful just for simply existing. And then you can think about the things that you're grateful for, right? Then you think about things outside of you. This could literally be done in two minutes if you really wanted to. If you have you know, a stressful day at work and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta meditate. You can literally sit there, take those six deep conscious breaths and then just go, I'm going to fill myself up with gratitude. And you just try to fill yourself up. You take a big deep breath. You let it go. You release it. And boom, you've now switched yourself from fight or flight mode, from sympathetic nervous system to parasympathetic nervous system. It stops the release of cortisol. It gets the cortisol out of your body. And cortisol is one of the main reasons why there's so many heart issues and heart attacks right now is because cortisol is what is you know considered the stress hormone. There's so much stress nowadays and the cortisol stays inside of somebody's body and it literally eats them up from the inside. It is, it is linked to premature death and to heart attacks. So when you sit there and you go, man, I'm really stressed out today or I've got a lot in my mind, I can't think clearly, whatever it is, if you just take a minute and then just consciously take six deep breaths and then fill yourself up with gratitude just simply for existing, and then breathe it all out, you'll realize that you're in a completely different state than you were. And what you do is you do this every single morning and then you can go about your day. Then you can have your coffee. Then you can look at your phone. But most importantly, what it does is it shifts your focus straight in the morning because most of the time people wake up, they immediately go to their phone and their, their phone and go, and they're, they're, they're off to the races. Think about all the stuff they have to do, the problems that they have, the fires that they have to put out. They think about all of those things. That's not what's important in life. What's important in life is this, the body, us, our existence. Take care of yourself. Fill up your own cup first before you go fill someone else's cup. If you want to add some other stuff to your morning routine, add it. Beautiful. Do as much you can to try to improve yourself. But first thing in the morning that you need to do is fill up your own cup. Take care of yourself. Fill yourself up with this gratitude. Six deep breaths. Think about what you're grateful for. There's the fact that you're alive, just life. Then you can think about all of the other things that are outside of you that are beautiful. And if you do this for 30 days in a row, I challenge you to do, do this for 30 days in a row, you'll realize that this simple gratitude meditation is rewiring your brain to be happy. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. I am what I think that you think that I am.